Secret Invasion. <laughs> oh, God. Woo. How did you feel about episode three? It took me a while to watch it. So that's where I'm at with the series. I don't want care enough to watch it unless it was for the stream. And I don't think that this episode has changed that. But, you know, they did do some things. Things happened that we'll talk about. How are you feeling about it, Felicity? Uh, yeah, I mean, it wasn't a horrible episode. It it wasn't great. Uh, I just really feel like if you're going to have people doing, you know, this type of stuff, whether it be movies or TV shows, they really need to know, like, either the comic book history or specifically the the actual TV show and movie history uh, that's being done uh, in the MCU. Uh, because I had one huge question when the show was going on. Uh, and it, it, it's, it goes back to the conversation that Fury and Talos were having uh, in, the, in the car. Mm -hmm. um i i believe they were sitting outside of the uh the guy who had the pass bob. codes uh for the yeah bob <laughs> <laughs> Why is his name bob <laughs> uh yeah just because just just fucking because <laughs> uh but uh in that conversation talos says that you had 19 scrolls mm -hmm. basically at your disposal um to use as spies and you know while this was happening fury was moving up the ranks in shield okay um so when when that when that came out my big question was okay what because if he had 19 scrolls in his service how is it that hydra was able to infiltrate shield from within Ooh. and 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 fury not nick fury who's supposed to be the fucking number one spy of all time in this universe okay because that's how he's been described how is it that your organization was infiltrated by hydra so when that happened i'm just like really so are they gonna pay this off somehow down the line are they gonna answer my question uh, because I think that's a huge question. Uh, and if there is no answer, then it, it kind of it kind of buries my interest going further. <laughs> yeah. And it makes me, you know, question my investment, you know, from the past. Because I watched those movies. <laughs> I mm -hmm. saw all this stuff. And I was just like, okay, I, I, I remember the conversations that Cap was having, you know, with Nick Fury uh, about, you know, uh, saving S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, but Cap was like, no, everything has to go, both S.H.I.E.L.D. and Hydra, because it's all, it's all done. It's all dirty. So how is it that you didn't have any inkling that this shit was happening? I see where you're coming from um, now that you've pointed that out, Felicity. There should have been some inkling. There should have been something there, um, especially if, you know, you have all these people uh, working for you who can infiltrate and be master spies. I get where you're coming from. Yeah. And it's unfortunate um, in this situation that it's kind of cheapening the previous things that we love, that we've been so invested in, even more so than, you know, this show. Yes. But I bet you that by the end of this show, they're not going to address this mm. at all. They're gonna they're gonna let the fans come up with their theories, uh, and uh, you know that'll be it. Um, so this show feels like a bunch of conversations that should have happened years before, <laughs> like this whole buddy cop thing that's happening with Talos and Fury. It, it just it just feels like all these conversations that they really should have had and it it, it should have been dealt with already. Uh, the the whole premise of the show, like okay, Secret Invasion, I feel like it shouldn't be being told in this in this current time. We should be getting like the beginning from the beginning when the Secret Invasion actually started. 
I think that you would be an in more interesting story. I would be more invested in that, I think. Because this is like, okay, all this shit's happened. And now here we are talking and <laughs> trying to fix it. Um, but yeah, there is a lot that could have been um, been explored, I think. You're right on that one. It would have been interesting if they had, like, you know, we got that flashback last episode. If they had expanded on that a little bit, that would have been a little bit better, I think. What do you think about uh amelia clark's character okay (laughs) so let me let me find her here because she's doing her thing i guess she's trying to help here we go okay i won't go any farther than that spoilers um but first you know the first scene that we saw her in she was you know having a conversation she was on the bed i was like this is just the same vibes the whole time she's just being suspicious and helping her dad like that's her only character point um and then you know it all comes to a head in in this scene but i don't know her storyline is just the same shit she's suspicious she's sad she's lying and then it doesn't go well um so i was glad to see it end if it wasn't gonna go anywhere do you think she's really gone at first i did and then they like lingered on it like in the editing so i don't think so they even made that sus so i don't know yeah yeah i think she's still alive uh but to be honest with you um I didn't really feel anything when she got shot anyway. <laughs> so yeah. I didn't care. I, didn't care. Uh, I, I just, I, I'm not getting the investment in the show. Uh, and, you know, there's just so many things that are just so sus. Um, I don't, the, the intrigue in this show is not for the who is a scroll thing. Um, I needed this show to be deeper uh, mm. than that. And I really do feel like if they were going to give us secret invasion, they really should have given us like, like the full history of it. Not this, uh, you know, Fury trying to work out his uh, PTSD from the blip bullshit or whatever. I, I, I don't, I don't know what the deal is with Fury. Yeah. I really don't. It just, it feels so weird. Uh, you know, and then he comes back to his wife who at the end of last episode, he kissed as soon as they got together. But then in, in this episode, he he's obviously suspicious of her and asked her point blank, are you involved with Gravik? And we already knew what the fucking answer was. Come on. <laughs> We knew what the answer was. Of course she is. She's involved with him somehow. Um, and she even, you know, says, look, you know, you, you got blipped. But, you know, when you came back, you didn't actually come back. <laughs> you mm-hmm. still stayed away. So what, what, I, I, I don't know how he got such a warm welcome, to be honest. If it, if it was me and I was his wife and he came back after all this time, I'd be like, what the fuck are you doing? I got a new man. <laughs> you, you can't just be walking up in here like like you own the place i don't know who you are anymore <laughs> exactly yeah they were like this whole episode i felt was just people shitting on fury like that's this whole series honestly because we got her and then we got you know the conversation in the car and it's just like dude what are you doing he doesn't stand up for himself either or even respond he just kind of changes the subject um so we're definitely building up to something but they don't have me caring about what we're building up to for him yeah i and and talos is obviously going through it uh because he's like you know keep my daughter's name out of your fucking mouth every time somebody (laughs) mentions her he's like going off uh you know he he stabbed gravik in the hand um you know when he mentioned her uh it just, it's just, it's just weird. <laughs> and then he killed Bob. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's not, <laughs> that was, I don't know. And I feel like he's going to go nuts after he finds out this news, I guess. We'll see that in the next episode. But yeah. And actually, speaking of that scene um, in the museum, one thing that I was thinking just during this whole scene, it was like, okay, hey, I... I know what's going to happen because I've seen the trailer and I feel like this whole scene, it was just kind of building up to, you know, that that image that we saw in the trailer and in this where they're all scrolls. Whoa. Like, I feel like that was just a cool marketing scene. Um, okay, I but didn't, why? I like, exactly. Why spoil a scene like that? That would have hit so much harder 
if it wasn't already spoiled in the trailer. Like, uh, I know that they need to do marketing. Um, and, you know, the marketing, I, I feel like Disney marketing has been, uh, they've probably been overperforming. <laughs> <laughs> quite actually uh but uh yeah because you know the whole time i'm watching this i'm like okay i'm waiting for graphic to you know uh multiply that's, yeah that, that's the whole thing i'm i'm waiting for um so that that scene was spoiled for me um yeah this show i i just know at the end i'm gonna end up being disappointed uh i kind of just feel like like you, you know, you were like, God damn, I got to watch this show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're halfway through and it's like, oh, damn, I, I'm, I'm not going to get, I'm not going to get anything substantive from this. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll talk about it here uh, with you guys and you guys will yell at us from the comments about how wrong we are, how, <laughs> how we're scrolls and shit, which I'm is fine. fine. I'm fine with that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh you know that's it that's that's about it uh exactly. I, I feel bad for the actors in this because they're all so great and um you know i feel like they've gotten wasted in this yeah. um the guy that does play gravic though i i you know i i get it uh he he seems like he's he's trying to do the most that he can uh with his role um, mm -hmm. I actually want to see him some other stuff uh, and end up seeing that he's playing Bob Marley uh, in a movie oh. um, that's coming out pretty soon. Yeah. Thanks y'all for watching so much. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you think. Catch us, uh, catch us next time. All right. Bye.